Here are the top 9 political parties in Japan, explained under 5 minutes. The Liberal Democratic Party, or the LDP, is the largest dominant party since 1955. This party only lost power in 1993 and 2009, a total of roughly 4 years. The LDP is a largely conservative party with conservative economic and social values. They desire to change the constitution, especially Article 9, and strengthen the Japanese military. This party has roughly 60% of the population's vote. The Kome Party, or Komeito, is a party with religious roots in Soka Gakkai. The Komeito's main concern is to maintain peace and to support social welfare. This party is against changing Article 9, which is interesting because they have been forming a political coalition with the LDP for the past 20 years. The Komeito has roughly 6% of the population's vote. The Constitutional Democratic Party, or Rikke Mishito, is the largest opposition party. They are the main liberal party, and they focus on education and social welfare. This party does not want to change the constitution and prefers to create a society that uses renewable energy. This party has roughly 20% of the population's vote. The Japan Innovation Party, or Ishin no Kai, is the fourth largest party at the moment. This party favors a small government and wants to decrease the number of political seats in parliament. They want to decrease taxes and make education and giving birth affordable. While they have differing policies, when it comes to constitutional reform and security, they probably would agree with the LDP. This party has roughly 9% of the population's vote. The National Democratic Party, or the Kokumi Mishito, is the next largest party. The Kokumi and Rikke Mishito used to be part of the same party, but important key figures couldn't agree over some policies and they ended up splitting. This party really wants to see people's salaries to increase. They are also vocal on strengthening security more than other opposition parties. The party is also open to revising the constitution. The Japanese Communist Party is probably the most left-leaning party in Japan. Although they're called the Communist Party, they're more like a social democratic party with significant social policies. This party openly criticizes the Chinese Communist Party for what is happening in Xinjiang and Hong Kong. Just like any left-leaning party, they want the constitution to be left untouched and they want to expand Japan's social welfare. Because of their name, the JCP tends to be a solo player in the political scheme. Another far-left party is the Leiwa Shinsen Gumi Party. I don't have much to say other than the party is pretty much revolving around one personality, Taro Yamamoto. He wants to immediately ban nuclear energy and make Japan 100% reliant on renewable energy. The Leiwa Party also wants to abolish consumption taxes. This party might sound as socialist as the Communist Party. One of the cool things about this party is the fact that they have representatives with health impairments. For example, one of their representatives has ALS, like Stephen Hawking's, and the other has cerebral palsy. Because of these representatives, the House of Councillors became barrier-free in 2019. The Social Democratic Party, or the Shaminto, is another left-leaning party, although not as extreme as the previous two. However, I would probably put them in between the CDP and the previous two parties. They also desire to expand social welfare and also abide strictly to Article 9. This means that they do not want Japan to buff the military and they want the American military to leave Japan. Last but not least, we have the most interesting party of them all, the NHK party. Their slogan is, literally, destroy the NHK or NHK Obukwas. To briefly summarize the NHK problem, the Japan Broadcasting Corporation, or NHK, charges citizens a monthly fee from watching the channel. Weirdly enough, legally, all residents with a TV satellite dish are required to pay a monthly fee regardless of watching NHK's channel or not. Being forced to pay while not watching the NHK channel has angered more than a few citizens, and the NHK party is here to destroy them. Politically, they are more centrist while leaning towards conservative values, although they don't have much to say other than to destroy the NHK. And these are the 9 main political parties in Japan. On a political spectrum, we can line them up like this. When it comes to the percentage of seats, it looks something like this. Most parties, regardless of political affiliation, agree that the government should support education and social welfare. And as you can tell, there are a lot of overlaps when it comes to certain policies such as defense and social welfare. However, the differences are noticeable enough that there's 9 main parties. It's great that Japanese citizens get to choose from multiple parties. Two-party systems can get frustrating because people are forced to choose one side. There are times, though, when I wonder whether too many parties actually do more harm than good. Which party sounds the best in your opinion? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. 
and don't forget to like the video if this was helpful and subscribe to learn more about Japanese politics.